But what's gonna cause this pressure switch to open? Because it's normally closed, something has to cause it to open. Well, to understand that, you gotta understand where these tubings go to. Look at the pressure switch here. Look what it says. It says 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So if this, if there is a difference in pressure of 0.25 and greater, remember what we said about that pressure switch. That pressure switch is normally close, but if it's greater than 0.25, it's gonna open, okay? But if it goes greater than 0.25, the difference, that switch is gonna open and your common is not gonna be able to make it to your gas valve. It will shut it off, okay? If this tube in here, right? If there is, if, the, if this water here cannot drain because there's a clogged, if it cannot drain that collector box in there, it's gonna fill up, fill up and it's gonna be reading a pressure difference between both. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch this or just simulate a blockage. Look at the difference right here on the bottom. Look at the difference that it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be uh, getting, right? We just said, if it goes above 0.25 of difference, it opens, right? I'm gonna go ahead and pinch this and look at the difference right now. You see, I'm pinching it. I'm simulating a blockage. It's greater than 0.25. It's at 0 0.31, 0 0.66. It's greater than 0.25, so that's gonna open. So that's the that's the idea behind this pressure switch. Uh, stage one, uh, stage two, if that collector box, if it's not draining right, if it's not being maintained, the pressure switch will notice a difference. It will open and it will cut the common, not the power, but the common going there and shut off your uh, gas going to your furnace.